In this video, I'm going to show how easy it is to move a Access 2007 table, like the one that you're seeing here on the screen, the contacts table, to SharePoint as a list, as a SharePoint list. So the first thing, uh, I am looking at this table right now in Access 2007. I'm going to find my external data tab, which I'm already on right now. And in external data tab, I need to go to the export section and click on SharePoint list. All right, now it's asking me which site, which SharePoint site do I want to export this table to. So I have a URL to my sales site already hooked up here. And I also need to give it an actual description of the, or the name of the list that's going to create for me. I would recommend not naming it contacts because there's already a contacts list that appears on many sites. Whenever you make a new contacts list, the contacts is usually the default name that people give it. So I'm going to give it the same descriptive name that the access table had, which is sales contacts. Now if this table in access database had any connected tables, if it had any lookup tables where it was getting data from, it would move all those tables, all those related tables, as is noted down here, to SharePoint as SharePoint lists, and it would connect them all together. And then in our case, we're just moving one table, so that's not the case. I'm going to click on OK. Here we go. It has moved this list now. It has put it into the sales site and it's called this list sales contacts. Now if I wanted to change this list around the way it's viewed, for example, what if I don't want to show the contact ID? And what if I wanted the whole thing to be sorted by department? And I want this to be the default view when my users come to see this list. I click on the view and modify this view and I uncheck the display box for column name uh, for a contact ID. For sorting I'll go and uh, sort it on department and that's it for right now so I'll go all the way down click on OK. Here we go it's being sorted by department right now and the contact ID is gone and that's the default view of this list. Uh, as you probably already know that you can filter pretty easily uh, using any of these columns here. You can filter last name, first name, whatever you want. And the same exact thing happens when you are looking at this list in a standard view. So if I click on actions, show in standard view, I can still filter by all these columns that are listed here. As far as searching this uh, information goes, how do I search for, for example, Adams? Well, if the searching is already configured properly on this SharePoint environment, then all you would have to do is use the search scope up above and choose this list, sales contacts, and then just actually put in the parameter and do the search. And that should bring you back the information that you're looking for. Now, keeping in mind that all this functionality what it has done, it has moved the share, the access list, the access table into a SharePoint list. It does not have a connection between the two sources. So if I change the data in the access database in that table, it will not change it here and vice versa. There is functionality to make that happen, but this is not the way to do that. That functionality is covered in a separate video to link a SharePoint list and access table together.